How's it going guys? We are back at it again with another brand new Master Tier deck showcase. And as always, in this series, the deck codes are always in the description below. So, never comment, where is the deck code? What's the deck code? The deck codes will always be in the description below. So let's get started with the pivotal part of this deck. This deck is going to be primarily based around Wraith Colors and Mistwraiths. The whole point about it is to potentially snowball with the mana efficiency that comes with a, uh, a Mist Wraith because it's a 2 cost unit. You play another one, it becomes a 3-2. Uh, so you have a 2-2, two, two. you play uh, another Mist Wraith, it becomes a 3-2. You have two 3-2s three, down, you play a Wraith Caller, you have a 4-3. He brings a Mist Wraith and everybody becomes a 4-2. It becomes absolutely water. unbelievable yeah. very, very, very fast. Not to mention you do a Fearsome, so if they don't get a little bit of momentum themselves, uh, they start to fall off very, very fast and start kind of burning mana, trying to get rid of your, your uh, two cost units, which are potentially worth a little bit more because they're going to eventually evolve into like four twos, five twos, depending on how many mistreats you get done. With that in mind, you do have Lee's and you do have Hecarim as the core champions in this deck. Uh, again, the the deck is Shadow Wilds and Demacia, not Shadow Wilds and Ionia, because Ionia used to kind of be the be-all and end-all for, for one of the most meta and strongest decks, uh, but times have changed, patches have happened, and uh, with that in mind, uh, Demacia has become the new uh, the new Ionia, the better Ionia, and uh, even Freeliord's up there too, but what synergizes so well is a few certain uh, Demacian cards, which we might end up drawing in this game. So we, there we go, we have a Wraith Caller and a Mistwraith, and again guys, if you don't already know, Wraith Caller summons another Mistwraith, 90% of the time depending on what deck you're building and kind of what cards you have in your deck. If you don't get a Mistwraith whenever you play a Wraith Caller, it's really, really unlucky, and uh, shit one. <laughs> but, he used to get excited to get rid of my Elise, I actually don't care, Elise is not the main goal for this deck. It's not a spiderling deck. There is spiders in it, but it's not the be-all and end-all for the deck. So him using his get excited to get rid of my um, Elise. I'm just like, oh, okay, burn three mana on the card to get rid of a card, which only cost me two mana. I'll take it. My wraiths are still up. I got one on the bank. I'm going to play a wraith next turn. We have our uh, rekindler to bring back Elise anyway. And uh, yeah, we have a really, really strong hand right now as well. So there we go. We got four two, a four two, a four one, a four two, all of fearsome. And also, we, we have such a strong deck. We have such a strong hand right now. This is perfection. Perfection. Especially because he only has six cards in his hand. Realistically worth playing. We do know that he has Mushroom Clouds. Um, right, if I throw everything at him here. Or should we play Frenzy Skitter? Could be a good shot. We'll play Frenzy Skitter. I was tempted, I was tempted to just go 4-2, 4, two, four, two, four. Let's throw it all into the field and see what happens. But... Uh, we'll see what so we'll see what he plays. This would be interesting. The reason I did that is because I didn't want him to block my 4-1 with his 1-1, which is what he would have done. And that would have been inefficient for me. I want him to potentially block my 4-1 with his 3-4, or so on and so forth. So thing is he has six mana right now, so he probably has an efficient card which he could play uh, to potentially get rid of at least my uh my Wraith Collar, because he only has one health, so. Playing my Spiderling, or playing my Spider, allows me to... Oh. What are you rocking, dude? Oh, Mystic Shot. And get excited, okay. He's burning his guards. Not a big deal. I think he's actually playing one of the decks which I showcased last last time. So if you guys haven't seen my Azul uh, video, check it out. It was on the, um, the video beforehand. Uh, he's blocked with a zero one. It's not really going to be a big deal. He really. Ah, oh, there we go. I was going to say he really should just block with a zero one, even though my wraith color wouldn't have died. This is fantastic for me. I've got a four two and a four one in the field. Four cars in my hand. He has nothing on the field. I can start get. I can start getting a lot of momentum here by dropping rekindler. We're going to get a lease back. And uh, we do have uh, a draw card as well. Whenever somebody goes to kill my wraith color, oh, or my. Uh, or my mystery. All right. Again, it's all about playing efficiently, guys. So I'm going to get two cards. I'm going to have six in hand, one in the field. Nice. Another glimpse of the beyond. 
And then I'm going to drop my rekindler and we're going to get Elise back in the field. We're going to instantly attack next round and we're going to hopefully uh, near enough end it uh, in five minutes. It's been a five minute video so far. We don't screw around. We don't screw around when it comes to the big plays. Okay, I'm going to just throw everything out. Oh, we have a Wraith Caller. We, we need to play him. If we summon a Wraith, it's going to be five. Oh, a 5-2 Wraith, boys. All right, we got two Wraith Callers, a 5-2 Wraith. I'm going to get a Spider Lane with a Lee's. I don't know what he's going to play. He might play... Oh, he's playing Harsh Winds. Okay. Not a big deal. We're still going to do 13 damage here. He's not done yet. He's not done yet, lads. Oh, oh, what's he waiting? Oh, okay. I, I thought he would have had that, to be honest. I thought he was going to play that way sooner than before, but... Uh, again, we are nullifying that completely. Because, you'll soon find out, you'll soon see. Boom. Nice. That We have six cards in our hand. This is fantastic. We can play... We can play Ephemeral and get a... Yeah, I was going to say, we could, we could have played our Ephemeral and got a, uh, a plus three, plus three. Or maybe our... Our Spiderling, but... This round is done. This round is over. We can actually play... Anything we want and we're going to win. I hope. Usually whenever you say you think that you're going to completely just decimate, they pull out like their Exodia, their Dark Magician, their Trump card, which just decimates everybody. Uh, but we have Relentless Pursuit to end this game, guys. Uh, I can literally play Re Relentless Pursuit this round and win. I don't think there's anything he can actually do to, uh, to bring this back. He might even surrender. He he'll realize, he'll, he'll go, oh, I can't do anything, and he's going to attack with everything. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you have a little bit of an idea of the playstyle behind it. Relentless Pursuit is at the heart of, uh, of this deck. Relentless Pursuit is the be all and end all. You need to get Relentless Pursuit. If you don't have it, you're using the playstyle wrong. The whole point is Relentless Pursuit it makes it with your fearsome early game. allows you to kind of double attack. Uh, doing it on a defensive round is actually really, really good as well. Because um, they don't expect you to do it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, hit that like button below. It really does help me out. Subscribe as well. I'm uploading content quite regularly, and I'm really enjoying this series, uh, showcasing you guys the best decks, which you should be using to climb solo queue in Legends of Rune Terror. But until next time, bros, take it easy, peace out, and good luck on the Rift. Coming waves across